My brothers and sisters, we now are the ones who should make du'a for ourselves. They're making du'a for us. And I quote the ayah in the Quran where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said 1,400 years ago, I in Surah Ali Imran, verse 186, Allah says, O believers, you will certainly be put to test in respect of your properties and your lives. And you will certainly hear many hurtful things from those who were granted the book before you and those who have associated others with Allah in His divinity. If you remain patient and God-fearing, this indeed is a matter of great resolution. Brothers and sisters, victory, there is victory and there is success. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, whoever is saved from evil and in the hereafter is saved from the fire and enters paradise, faqad faz. That is the true success. This life is but a test and exam. My brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says in Surah Al-Ankabut, Alif Lam Mim Allah says, Do people think that we will be let? Do people think that they will be let to go merely by saying, We believe, and that they will not be tested? For we indeed tested those who went before them. Allah will most certainly ascertain those who spoke the truth and those who lied. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala puts us through conflicts sometimes, through hardships, through loss of wealth, loss of lives, fear. Sometimes we lose a little bit of wealth. Sometimes we have certain sicknesses. My brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, this is how to sift between who is righteous and who is not, who is patient and who is not, who deserves and who doesn't deserve the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah says, minkum may yuridu dunya wa minkum may yuridu al-akhirah. Some of you want this dunya, this temporary enjoying world, and others they want the akhirah. Brothers and sisters, but having said this, a Muslim does not give up. There is still hope, there is still a future, there is still things that are going to change. Nothing ever stays the same. The oppressor doesn't last very long. If for those of you who read about history and you educate yourselves and you learn about the history of civilization, you will know how no oppressive civilization stayed. And that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He repeats history. And there are those who stay and others who replace them. Certainly, the Zionists today and the uh, people who support this oppression, of course, not all Jews are like this, brothers and sisters, not all Christians, not all non-Muslims, not all people of the world who, uh, you know, support all of this oppression. And I'm going to quote something marvelous, inshallah. However, Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa told us that every century, every 100 years, at the beginning of every century, Allah will send to this ummah, to this nation, someone who will reform them, a reformer. The hadith is in Abi Dawood and other hadith similar to that. What is this reformer? This is hope from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that every 100 years, uh, an enlightenment, a new beginning, a reformation will be sent to this world, especially to the nation, the ummah of the Muslims. 
Allahu a'lam in what way this reformer will come. Is it a human being? Is it a man? Is it a woman? Is it a movement? Is it a group? Or is it something else? Is it an event? The point is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala every century does not leave the world it, the way it is. And whatever is unjust, it will calibrate. Perhaps what is happening now, even though, brothers and sisters, atrocities and oppression are actually everywhere in the world happening every day. There isn't a place except that we do not, you know, except that we don't see it in the media as clear and as widespread as what we're seeing now in Palestine. But they are happening all the time. Atrocities, genocides, apartheid, uh, ethnic cleansings are happening everywhere. Especially where there are a, a you know, Muslim population, even non-Muslim population. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not leave the world the way it is. It always calibrates it. Every century, every 100 years. Perhaps this is the awareness. Allah My beloved brothers and sisters, in Islam, life is seen as a test from Allah, where believers face various challenges to strengthen their faith and character. Allah says in the Quran, and we will surely test you with something of fear and hunger and a loss of wealth, lives and fruits, but give glad tidings to the patient. These tests are not punishments but opportunities to grow closer to Allah and prove one's trust in His wisdom and plan. Patience is a highly praised quality in Islam especially when facing hardships. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said the greatest reward comes with the greatest trial when Allah loves the people. He tests them whoever accepts that wins his pleasure, but whoever is displeased with that earns his wrath. Being patient during trials shows a believer's reliance on Allah and their faith that he knows what is best for them, even if they don't understand it at that moment. Patience is not only a virtue in Islam, but also a source of immense reward. Allah promises those who remain steadfast in the face of adversity will be generously rewarded. The Quran says, indeed, the patient will be given their reward without measure. This reminds believers that enduring hardships with patience brings blessings in this life and the hereafter reinforcing that every difficulty has a divine purpose even if it isn't immediately clear allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the quran in allah indeed allah is with the patient and allah said in another verse Verily, with hardship comes ease. Help us build an Islamic studio at www.islamicstudio.org. Link in the description.